light, crispy, flaky chip shop fish with a sweet, spicy, zingy salsa. These are my banging fish tacos. To make this salsa, you need three juicy ripe tomatoes. And you know they are ripe because they're quite squidgy to touch. And what you're gonna do with these is something very dangerous. You're gonna burn them. Put your tomatoes directly onto the burner. A gas stove works way better. Just be careful and use a pair of tongs to place the tomatoes directly onto the flames. This is what you want your tomatoes to look like. They are burnt, but that's a good thing because now they're gonna have this crispy exterior and it's gonna have an amazing charcoal taste to your salsa. Now very roughly chop these hot tomatoes into cubes. Slop it into a bowl. And all these lovely juices that I've collected on the board here, we need to get this in. A lot of flavour is in this residue. Now you're going to add a diced red onion, chop up some brined jalapenos, and some fresh coriander. Squeeze in a good amount of lemon, Add a generous pinch of salt and pepper. Now mix this rainbow up. If only you could smell what's going on here. This is your homemade fresh zingy and spicy salsa. The star of the show is of course the fish. Frozen fish just won't do. So you'll need fresh skinless and boneless white fish. I'm using sherry, local sherry fish, and you can use cod or haddock or any flaky white fish. Get your frying oil nice and hot in a pan with deep sides since we'll be deep frying these. For your banging fish tacos, you need a banging batter. And that's what we're gonna start off with here. This is about 120 grams of plain white flour. Into that, add a heaped teaspoon of red chili powder, ground cumin and coriander powder as well as salt and pepper for seasoning. I'm also adding a teaspoon of baking soda which will help make the batter more airy. Finally, give that all a rigorous whisk. Now it's time for the secret ingredient, a can of pop. I'm using 7up but you can use any neutral carbonated drink. The fizziness from the drink is going to create lots of gases and bubbles in the batter so when we fry that it's going to come out light and crispy and that's how you get the perfect chip shop fish. Whisk in some of that liquid until you have the consistency of pancake batter. And a sign of good batter is when you can see these bubbles on the surface. Next, coat your fish pieces in plain flour. Take a fillet of the dredged fish Dip it into the batter. Slowly lay the battered fish into the hot oil so it doesn't sink to the bottom and become floppy. You want to make sure the oil is deep enough, otherwise your batter will touch the bottom of the pan and burn. Remove from the oil as soon as it's beautifully golden brown like this. Super crispy on the outside and beautifully light and flaky on the inside. So let's have a look. Look at that. Now let's quickly prepare the taco shells. In a preheated oven, place folded tortillas over the wires of an oven rack like this and toast in the oven at a high temperature for a couple of minutes until firm, not crispy. Now to assemble these tacos, I've got the taco bowl. I'm going to go in with some of our lovely, amazing chip shop style fish. I'm going to serve this with some of my very special zingy salsa. Why not add some mango pieces on top to give it a little bit of sweetness? These are banging fish tacos, homemade. 